What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. And I know I scared a few people yesterday with April Fools, but guys, you know I'm not getting rid of Frostbite. She's right there. She ain't going nowhere. But today we're going to throw together a little video on the Holly High Ram intake manifold. I've had a lot of people message me. A lot of people are messaging me on what I had to do to install it, what fittings or adapters I needed to install it. So we're going to go over that real quick. Although I have changed a lot since we've went to E85, but I'm going to show you exactly what I did to run the Holly High Ram manifold before I switched over to the new fuel system. So I'm going to go over it basically as if you still have a stock Ram fuel system. So we're going to show you exactly what you need to do. So stay tuned. Here we go. All right guys, so let's go over this intake manifold installation real quick, what you need. And it's really not a whole lot. You only need a few things to make it work. Other than that, it bolts right on. Um, so we're gonna go over it real quick. And don't mind uh, poor frostbite. The pollen season has hit us over here at Georgia and the truck is absolutely nasty. So tomorrow we're gonna be doing a lot of cleaning on frostbite. I'm gonna try to clean it up because I got pretty cool video that I'm going to be working on tomorrow um, going over all the new fuel system and lots of other things so stay tuned for that video but anyway here we go here is the Holly high ram manifold right here and like I said it fits in the truck very well you have plenty of clearance between the firewall and the top of the intake manifold um, if I had to guess you're probably looking at uh, I want to say there's probably about a good inch of clearance up there um, you know not a lot but it definitely clears and it fits in the Ram truck very well now the other thing that you will need to make this manifold work is going to be a throttle body spacer slash adapter um, and that is so that your, your stock throttle body can mount to the upper portion of the Holly High Ram. Or if you have a larger throttle body, they also make a spacer for that um, that also fits like say the Hellcat throttle bodies. Now I still run the bone stock factory throttle body. I have not upgraded that. The throttle body works perfect for my application. And we have a video, we're gonna be talking about throttle bodies here pretty soon. But anyway, you will need an adapter to mount your throttle body to the manifold. Now that is an additional part you will have to purchase. So here is a part number from Holly that will get your throttle body mounted to the Holly High Ram. All right, so for the back driver's side of the intake manifold, for the Holly fuel rails that also comes included with the Holly High Ram, you're going to need a special fitting, and that is this guy right here. And this is so that your stock fuel line can adapt and plug onto this fuel fitting from Earl's. And your stock fuel line will plug right onto here, just like stock clips in, and everything for the factory fuel line will ba basically be retained. It plugs right on here and works very well. So the part number and the link to get this guy is right here. So that will let you hook up your fuel system and get you going. All right, so the very next thing you're gonna need is the crossover hose, which is gonna go from the driver's side and the passenger side fuel rail. Basically, that just ties the two fuel rails together, um, just like the factory ones did, where it kind of went over the top of the manifold toward, you know, in the middle. They went over, it had a rubber line that went over. This new braided line is going to take the place of that and tie in both fuel rails. 
Um, so the part number to this guy is right here. And then the only other thing you're going to need to be able to mount that to the fuel rail is these fittings that also thread into the fuel rails. You're going to need two of these and the part number to those are right here. Now the very last fitting you're going to need is going to go on the passenger side fuel rail and it is going to go on the very back corner of the passenger side fuel rail and that is going to be a plug. Uh, basically what you're doing is you're just plugging the rear portion of the fuel rail um, so you don't get a leak. Obviously you got to seal it up. So you're going to have a plug on the passenger rear corner. And I'm sorry for all the noise, guys. My wife is actually in the backyard cutting the grass, so we have the mower going, dogs barking, all kind of stuff going on over here. So hopefully you guys can hear me and it's not too annoying. Um, but that's pretty much it. That is all you have to do and purchase to make the Holly High Ram Manifold fit on the Ram truck. The other stuff you're going to need is, and it's also mentioned in the instructions from Holly, you have to do something with the uh, breather system. So on the Holly High Ram, right there, you can kind of see that little filter. That's a breather filter. That is what I'm using on my Holly High Ram. There's a threaded tapped hole right there for the breather system, and I threaded in a fitting, and I'm just running an open breather and venting it to atmosphere. Um, also on this side by the oil cap, there is another, and you're not going to be able to see it, but it's kind of back behind the oil cap on the back side of the intake manifold. There's also another threaded uh, hole right there that is for the breather system as well. I have mine plugged. Um, so if you wanted to copy kind of what I did, that is how I did the breather system on Frostbite. Now in the Holly High Ram instructions, they go over an actual like PVC valve you can purchase. They explain how to run the lines and everything if you want to do it. Um, I would say more of a emission friendly kind of option. Um, so if you're worried about something like that, they go over exactly what you can do to make that work. Uh, you can also run a catch can and plummet similar to um, the instructions that Holly supplies. Um, I'm not running a catch can. Again, I'm just venting it straight to atmosphere with that little breather filter right now, and it seems to be working. Um, I haven't really had any oil come up to the filter. I did have on one pass where we ran the truck pretty hard back to back, making multiple passes. I did have one incident where I had a little oil come up to it, um, but I think what I'm gonna do is just raise it up a little higher that is one thing Holly also suggests is it needs to, uh, the breather system needs to be up about four inches. And obviously I'm a little bit lower than that. So I'm probably just gonna raise my filter up a little bit just to keep that from happening again, um, but no big deal. And again, there's plenty of ways you can do this. This is how I did mine. Um, so like I said, a lot of people has been asking. So this is basically how it is set up on Frostbite. Not much to it. And again, as far as the installation goes, it bolts right on. Um, you're going to leave the upper piece off, which is the lid right here. You're going to leave that piece off. You're going to mount on the lower section first using the studs and the nuts that they supply you with Holly. Um, after you mount that down, torque everything down, then you're going to put the lid on and they give you the hardware for that as well. And it, it mounts right up pretty easy. And then again, you're going to bolt your throttle body up to the adapter that you need. Now for intake plumbing, that is, that is gonna be specifically up to you and your application. Um, obviously I'm, I'm running the Torque Storm Supercharger and I have an intercooler, so I have my custom intercooler pipes and everything that I had to do to run it to the front of the Holly High Ram and run to my intake or, and adapt to my throttle body. Now give or take, if you're running the stock 5.7 manifold or say the 6.4 manifold, that is, you know, you're going to have to figure out that part with intake tubing and all of that stuff to make it work. 
not a big deal but you're going to probably need a couple different pipes some different bends maybe a couple rubber boots or 90s or 45s or something but um, again every truck's going to be different so i can't exactly tell you what you're going to need um, for that application but this is a general idea of exactly how it's working on frostbite right now and i've had no issues with it and i absolutely love this manifold the manifold woke frostbite up tremendously um, I, especially being boosted the manifold definitely has my vote definitely feel it makes a huge difference i really feel like this manifold would be fantastic for nitrous guys and i really think it'll be a fantastic manifold for a fully bolted on and serious na build i still think this manifold would work very well with na um, for an all-out na screamer I, I i really do i think the intake manifold would work pretty well um all in all though that's it i hope it helps you out give you guys that's been asking me questions um an idea of what you're going to need to do and again it, it's it's not a whole lot um pretty easy thing it, it was probably the easiest thing i've put on frostbite <laughs> to date uh very simple all right guys that's going to do it for today um like i said i got a pretty cool video we're going to be working on tomorrow with frostbite and project storm we're going to take both trucks out to a and spot Clifford. clifford's not going Clifford's not going because Clifford's still on the ramps. But anyway, we're going to take the trucks out. We're going to get some uh, cool video shots. We're going to play with the drone a little bit and uh, put together a pretty cool video going over all the new stuff on uh, Frostbite with the fuel system and all the new tuning from FRP. So definitely stay tuned. I'm going to get back to work here. I'm going to probably help this uh, ding dong over here with Project Clifford here. We're almost done with that. We got the transmission in. Uh, everything's pretty much bolted back up. We just gotta get a few things tidied up and hopefully I'll be able to go do a, burn, a burnout and some donuts in uh, the Dakota. So stay tuned. As I'm always guys, no you're not. I'm doing the burnouts oh, first. So stay tuned guys. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.